Diego Sanchez. Diego, how are you today? Oh man, um, I'm outstanding. It's good to be here in New York. And uh, for me, um, I've, I've been riding for 10 years and I'm a kid in a candy store right now. All these bikes and um, yesterday was truly one of the best days of my life. Um, I got, I received the best present that I've ever, ever gotten. And that was this uh, 2011 Striker custom motorcycle. Um, you know what I mean? I, I, I did the commercial for them to promote the bike cross market and you know what I mean I got a call about two months later saying they wanted to give, present me a bike they wanted to make it totally custom and so here we are and um, it's just a real true blessing from God it's an awesome bike bro and uh, I asked you if you're a vet I know you're a vet of the UFC man I've been a fan of yours ever since got, the ultimate I fighter the, I got the vet patch because I got 18 fights in the UFC and uh, we got seven fight of the night awards. We're gonna go for another one uh, March 3rd when we got Martin Catman come up. And so, you know what, I'm, I'm paying my dues and um, I'm, I'm a UFC vet. What do you like better, riding or fighting? Um, you know what, um, it, it's, it's, I love both. You know what I mean? I, it's totally different, different types of loves. But um, I probably have to say fighting because that's, you know, there ain't nothing like fighting, and it takes everybody. Could, there's a lot of people out there that could ride, but not everybody can get in that cage and drop their balls. Oh, true. Uh, what do you think it takes to be the best pound for pound fighter in the world? Like you always go into finished fights. Some guys really don't. What, what do you think about that? Um, I think that um, it, it all comes down to, to to be the pound for pound fighter. I think that you, number one thing, I think you just have to be blessed uh, with with the gift. You know what I mean? Because to be the pound for pound best, you're obviously you're 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 talented and you're special, and uh, it, but the other aspect of it is discipline. Um, like you know, people ask me what fighters I look up to. Um, you know, the, the first name that comes up is Randy Couture because of his discipline and um, his consistency with with his regiment and and how he takes care of himself. And I think it's amazing. So that's that would be it. That's a good choice, and he's a respectable dude. Uh, you just went back to your old camp, am I right? I've been um, been at Jackson's now for six months, and it was the best decision I ever made. Um, I'm sparring and training every day with guys like Rashad Evans, John Jones. Now that I got my weight back up to a good 190, solid 195, uh, I'm able to train with the heavyweights every day, and it's just it's it's a great experience. I'm getting better and better every day, and just sparring in that gym is um, taking my striking to a whole other level, and. Um, and um, I'm excited to to show the fans out there uh, the, the the new and improved Diego Sanchez. You know what I mean? Um, I'm on top of my game. I got the training partners, the coaches, and and the family that's supporting me and got my back. And um, I got my head on straight. I just turned 29, and um, I'm gonna make a run for it. What weight class do you want to stay at? Do you want to stay at, at 170? Um, yeah, I'll be at 170 for the rest of my career. You know, um, down at 55, I just really was never 100 percent. Um, I, I had a I had a cut a cut into uh, cut muscle off and it, it, I just I was weak at 170. I mean at one at 155 I was I was weak from the weight cut and now at 170 I feel strong. I'm still cutting 20 pounds and um, it, it, it's the weight class for me. And you're fighting Martin Campman. When are you fighting Martin? I fight Martin March 3rd uh, main event on Versus. It's going to be a great fight. I got a lot of respect for Martin and. Um, you know, I want to put a good fight on, and um, you know, what I mean, he's he's a great striker, and um, I'm gonna go in there and um, just fight. Uh, you know, my 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 style of fighting is a, a street fighter. I'm a street fighter, so I'll fight on the feet, I'll fight on the ground. I just I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to you, and um, I'm gonna be in the best shape of my life, and and ready to to get another fight of the night award. And what would you recommend to a young fighter like the best start to start with? Would it be wrestling, jujitsu, or striking? The number one base of MMA is wrestling, and um, you know the guys out there who who weren't wrestlers, um, who, who are successful. You know, they that hole that hole in your game is always going to be there, and and, and it always start with the wrestling, especially your high school wrestling program, because you know that's that's the where you're going to get your true wrestling is in high school and college. Um, a lot of guys aren't doing the college wrestling now because they want to go straight into the mixed martial arts, but. Um, you know that's that's where you're gonna that's where you, where you, the foundation is. And if you look at all the champions, most of all the champions are are, are wrestler wrestler backgrounds. Besides, he can control the fight. Hey man, uh, George St. Pierre, he's a, he's 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 um, defended his title with um, 
just knowing the double leg takedown so good. And um, there's other fighters, you know, Frank Yeager, you know, he's, he's a wrestler. He's, um, the, you know, Brock Lesnar, Cain Velasquez, you know, um, all the champs really, um, to, you know, they're, most of the champs are, are wrestlers. You're one of the fighters that never says die. What do you think of that Frankie Edgar fight with uh, <coughs> with Gray Maynard? You ever seen anything like, <coughs> anything like that? Um, you know what? Um, it, it it was a great fight. You know what I mean? It was it was a great fight, and um, I I hear they're gonna have another rematch. So um, that should be that should be good. Did you think the the fight? <coughs> excuse me. Did you think the fight was gonna be stopped in the first round? Um, you know what? Um, I didn't think so. You know what I mean? He. He still had a. He was. He was still. He was. He was okay. I thought. Um, you know what I mean. But I'm gonna. I'm. 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 I'm always for the for the fighter. You know what I mean. Like, they never stopped any of my fights when I was down and out. And I always was able to come back and um, survive. Survive the. Survive the wrath. So yeah, I, I'm glad that they let it go on. And um, I think that you know he proved to everybody. You know that he's a great champion. What do you think about five round fights? Do you think a main event fight should be five rounds instead of three? Um, I think uh, main event fights should be to the finish, and in my opinion, I think all fights really should be to the finish, especially contender fights and main event fights. I think you know um, it should just be to the finish. You know what I mean? That's if I could re remake uh, MMA, it would be one round to the finish. I like it, like the old Valley Tudo, like the old you know, Pride. You know, but with you know with yellow cards, you know what I mean. If you stall, you're stalling. You know what I mean. No, take the stalling out of the, take the stalling out, take the periods out. You know, and 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 what would happen would be um, fighters would be truly fighting and and not uh, playing the points game the way some of the guys do right now. I definitely kind of agree, man. Diego, thanks for the time, brother. Hey, I appreciate it, man. You heard it first, MMAconfidential.com. I'm Bruce Kibo, and that's Diego Sanchez, the nightmare, baby. Five for five, baby. Thank you, bro.